Hey guys, I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. Today I will be showing you what I got for Christmas. And I won't be showing you everything. I think a lot of you are only interested in kind of the luxury items. We just moved to a new home, so we've been busy furnishing all the rooms and kind of getting new things. So we'll just get right into the unboxing. A lot of this stuff I kind of accumulated really since Black Friday. And actually this year has just been such a mess. I'm still waiting on some orders, so I don't have everything that I ordered, but this is the majority of it. And this is also kind of partly a birthday haul because my birthday is also in early December. It's also my mother's birthday. It's my youngest son's birthday. So Black Friday shopping kind of rolls into my birthday and, and into Christmas. So it's kind of like a massive gift giving extravaganza, but I will share with you what I got. So we'll start with one very small thing from Tiffany and Company. Look how pretty. I love their packaging. You guys aren't going to guess what this is, <laughs> but I got this Tiffany coffee table book. It's called Windows at Tiffany and Company. So this is it. It comes in a really nice hard case and then the book itself slides out right here. So the book itself doesn't have a cover. It's this um, case and this is it. So this just shows all the pretty windows that were, I guess, in Tiffany's throughout the year. And yeah, <laughs> I just love coffee table books. This was very reasonable. I mean, this I think was like 30 something dollars. Uh, they actually make a fancier version of this that's like $800 or something insane. So um, yeah, I will stick with the $30 version of this. Let's move on to Fendi. So I got this from 24S and this was the first time I placed an order with 24S. It was pretty quick. This shipped directly from Italy. There were no extra fees or anything. 24S comes up a lot in my videos. People ask me if it's a legit site because I guess they sell LV overseas. If you're in the EU, they sell LV. That's because LVMH actually owns 24S. So yes, it is a legit company, but this was the first time I ordered from them and I had a great experience. So this is it. I love that it comes with the Fendi shopping bag also, and even the ribbon. <laughs> Sometimes when you shop from a department store, you know, they don't have the brand packaging. So I got this. So this is a little dust bag, the drawstring, and I got a bathing suit. If you watched my Mother's Day haul, I got a Fendi bathing suit, this exact one piece Fendi bathing suit. It's very low cut in the back. It's kind of like, what do they call it? A Brazilian uh, cut and then a very low back one piece scoop neck. I got this from Nordstrom with white trim and it just didn't work for me. It was a little too small. Uh, the cut was, was too low. <laughs> for me. So I ended up returning it. And so when this popped up again in the black, which was my preference, I just went ahead and ordered it and it fit. I just got a size up. So I got a size 42, which I think the equivalent is like a size six. The sizing is all crazy. Plus it's a bathing suit. I plan to use this not just as a bathing suit, but also as a top under jeans. Like in the summer, I just think it would look so cute as a bodysuit. Um, so yeah, so I'm glad they finally had my size and in the color that I preferred. So I got this funny bathing suit from 24S. Okay, I have a stack of Dior here. <laughs> uh, I have a very thoughtful note from my Dior SA. I just love the packaging this year. I think it's like called Illuminary or something, like the lanterns. I don't know. <laughs> I just love it. So those are also the bags. They also came with shopping bags. By the way, my tree back there, it's all decorated by just basically holiday packaging from Chanel and Dior and just kind of, you know, packaging that I've collected over the years. So let's start unboxing the smaller ones. Dior actually had a sale going on. So I picked up a couple things that were on sale. One was a pair of these sunglasses. And I love the case of Dior sunglasses. They actually fold flat. This part kind of tucks in and on the, on the sides. So if you need to kind of save space, see it folds like super flat. Okay, I got these, tell me if you like these. Okay, so this is it. I think they're called Dior Stell Air. So I don't own any sunglasses in this color, like a lighter color. 
And I just thought the shape was kind of cool and very different, you know, almost like kind of really retro 70s vibe. I love, I love the transparent frames and it's like a pink ombre gradient. And I like that it's, I mean, you can totally see my eyes. It's not super dark because sometimes you need sunglasses even when it's not super sunny out to protect your eyes from, you know, UV rays and whatever. But you don't want it to be too dark because if it's not super sunny, then, you know, you can't see. So these are nice and a little lighter, but I don't know, I really like it. These were on sale. I got this from the Dior Boutique Within Saks, but I saw this style on sale at Nordstrom and Neiman Marcus and stuff. I'll link it below if I can find it, but yeah, I like it. It's kind of cool, right? It kind of goes with my outfit right now. This sweater is from 27 Miles. It's so cool. I, I had this on my Instagram, but I love that it's like this really pretty blue color and and it has these iridescent, these iridescent little stars all over it. And, and then I got a Dior Mitza. And even their Mitza round little packaging is in the holiday design, which I really like. And so this was actually on sale. ABC Dior, I think it's the collection with the initials. I did a video showing how to tie this mitza, twilly, bandeau, whatever you call it, around the handles of my book tote. And I had another initial bandeau, but yeah, so I got this because it's my husband's initial. <laughs> That's how I justified it. Oh, it's, I think it's a phoenix. The coloring is just a solid burgundy. I have a Dior burgundy oblique saddle back there. It was in my vintage bags haul, so I figured I can tie this on there and, and dress it up. But yeah, so I got this on sale. So normally these mitzvahs are pretty expensive. I think they're normally like 230 or 210. This was like 30 or 40% off. So for this, I paid around one, 130, I think. Okay, let's start opening these. I love these little packages. So uh, one day I will learn how to tie these ribbons. So, so and I got a little costume jewelry. I love the dust bags because it has a little mesh part so you can see what's inside but I got these earrings it looks like the clasp on the 31 Tain you know the new CD logo that's it it's just very plain very simple but I just think it's so pretty so it kind of matches I got the um, necklace I don't know if I show this on my channel but very similar to this uh, CD logo it's it has crystal like pave crystals around it but yeah, so I got these earrings. Another little thing. And I have been wanting this for so long. I got the Dior, little Dior stacking ring. And so it's very thin. I like this because you can, you really can kind of stack it with, you know, other thin rings. I don't know if you can see it, but it just says Dior and then it has a crystal. There it is, Dior. Yeah, that's the Dior ring. Next up. I just love this Dior packaging. I'm so glad I got a bunch of these because this really makes up for my disappointment with the LV holiday packaging, which we will get to in a second. But here is the next item. And I got <laughs> a Dior notebook. I did a whole thing about the Dior notebooks. I love notebooks, especially this year. I plan a lot of things in writing. I like to write things down. I love that this is lined. It has a little thing there to plan for next year. And hopefully those plans won't be canceled. The next Dior box, I got this Dior Toit de Jouis scarf. And I tried this in store. And I just love this pattern. So this is it, here's the pattern. I don't know how to tie scarves. I have my Toit de Jouy book tote in the navy with the mitza, and so now I have the scarf to match. So yay. If you have you know, a wool coat or something that's really itchy, it just feels so nice around your neck. So I might just wear this in the winter even. You know, you don't have to wear it just in the summer even though it's a very silk lightweight scarf. Next. I heard they ran out of ribbon. I was watching another unboxing and they said they ran out of the navy uh, holiday ribbon. So I will be decorating my tree with this next year. <laughs> okay, here's another box. Now this one is really exciting. If this is the one I think it is. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> You're gonna think I'm crazy. But I got this Toit de Jouy sarong. 
okay like a beach sarong look how nice oh it's so sheer you can kind of see through it it's a lot bigger than the scarf i oh my gosh i love this oh i love this <laughs> i saw this online and i bought this sight unseen they didn't have it at the store. I love how they styled it on, you know, in the pictures. You can wear it as a sarong skirt around your waist, around, over your bathing suit. You can wear it almost as a dress, like you can style it as a dress, you can belt it. I was supposed to go to the Philippines this year and that was canceled. I plan on rescheduling my trip and visiting family who live near the beach and I am going to be getting a lot of use out of this. <laughs> I am a huge fan of the Toit de Jouy print. There's that lion wrestling the snake. So yeah, hopefully I will be able to take this on a tropical vacation this year. If not, I'm gonna wear this as a dress. Next box. A lot of this is Dior, okay? But they're kind of small. I didn't get a Dior bag, unfortunately, but that's gonna be on my wish list for next year, for sure. Okay, don't laugh. I got another Dior notebook. So the notebooks come in two sizes and I got both sizes. I plan on using them, I don't know, maybe this one I'll plan my YouTube videos and this one I will write down my hopes and dreams for the future, who knows. So yeah, Dior notebooks. And then the final Dior box is the biggest one. Oh, actually I'm forgetting my, so I did get some Dior fragrances. I got a lot of fragrances from a bunch of different brands. I think I will do a separate fragrance haul video. So the last Dior box is right here and I love these boxes <laughs> this one you're gonna be like okay you're crazy <laughs> uh, okay this is heavy I got the Toit de Jouy trinket tray is what it's called online or jewelry tray kind of just like a catch-all I've always wanted this I wanted this last year and I remember thinking like that's a lot they have entire place settings, okay, in this pattern and other patterns. And then I looked at a plate, but it was only in red or something like that. It was round, I don't know. So I just thought like, just get it, you know, I really wanted it and it's been a rough year. So just, you just need to get it. <laughs> so yeah, the Toit de Jouy trinket tray. It says Dior on the bottom, made in France. Non-slip grippies here which I suspect is just hot glue, you know, hot, like a hot glue gun, <laughs> glue. Uh, so, so yeah, so now I have my little trinket tray to put all my new Dior jewelry in. So I got a few pairs of shoes that were on sale. And by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I definitely recommend you follow me on there. Anytime there's a deal or a sale or whatever, I post in my Instagram stories. So when I saw these on sale, I immediately posted it. Some of you messaged me and said you were able to pick some up because they sold out pretty quick. But I finally got my first pair of Valentinos. So I got the Valentino Rock Stud in a metallic gold with a rose gold, you know, little spikies. And I got this from Neiman Marcus. And yeah, they were on sale. I just, I've always wanted a pair of Valentinos. These aren't the newest designs, which is fine, but I think they're a classic. I think they're very flattering on. I just never wanted to pay full price for them. I think they're about 30% off. I forget what the price was. I posted it in my story. So definitely follow me on there if you don't already. So I got this in the gold. And then I also got another pair of Valentinos in nude. And this is a different kind of a design. I think they call it beehive. And so it has this kind of like, it looks like a fishnet webbing over a nude overlay. And this was also available in black and pink, but the black was sold out. So yeah, I got this. This is a little bigger. I usually wear anywhere from like 35 and a half to 36. I heard these run super small and then they were sold out. So I got this in a 37. These I got in a 36 and a half. The 36 and a half fit me pretty well. These are a little big. The back kind of bows out a little bit, but I just, I finally have a pair of Valentinos. There are just so many sales going on right now. I, I think I might do a separate video of all the sale stuff I got because I, I still have some more on the way to me. But um, yeah, I'm so glad I scored these. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. I will always post deals whenever I see it, uh, great deals online. There were Chanel sales, there were YSL sales. This year has been rough for a lot of people, including these retailers. So I think they started their sales earlier before Black Friday, before Thanksgiving, and then it just continued through 
Christmas. And then even after Christmas, we'll continue to see these on sale. So Valentino's. Oh, I forgot to show you the Dior magazine, the newest edition, uh, Dior magazine number 32, A Celebration of Light. And I think in this one, I didn't go through it, but it explains the kind of inspiration for the holiday packaging this year, which I think maybe goes into the cruise collection. So that is the Dior magazine. I love these. Let's talk about Louis Vuitton. I was very sad when I heard that their holiday packaging was recalled. I was only able to get one order in with the holiday packaging. The bag on the inside is blue, and so I guess it was bleeding onto whatever was inside. So they recalled all the bags. <laughs> I'm unboxing it for you here. So here it is. Go ahead and unbox it. These are so heavy. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's a box within a box. I got this. Louis Vuitton City Bags, A Natural History. On the back, it shows all kind of the classic styles. This is so heavy, I can't even hold this up. Well, look how thick it is. This is a perfect coffee table book. You have this book. It just goes through, I guess, their history. Oh, look at that, I have that <laughs> in red. Steamer. Oh, this is nice. And then inside, printouts of icons. It has this kind of wrapped around it. it shows the tools. Oh, different styles. Look at that. Oh, fashion, steamer. So this is a good gift idea for someone if they maybe want to decorate something. Um, if they want to decorate a room or an office or a closet, you can definitely frame these. These are very heavy weight pages. So yeah, little posters and a book. Very heavy book in this case. One more thing from Louis Vuitton. Somebody commented that I pronounced Louis Vuitton incorrectly. So I will pronounce it correctly. It is pronounced Louis Vuitton. Okay, not Louis Vuitton. And what did I get but another book. <laughs> so I think this is the probably the most well-known of their coffee table books. So I like that it has its own sleeve also and it slides out like this. And this is the book that you see at the boutiques. They basically have this sitting on the table at every boutique. Even without that heavy case, this is a very heavy book. So I am very excited to finally own this. Another LV coffee table book. And the one holiday packaging I was able to snag before it was recalled. So a little bag and it's this and you can probably guess what it is. But I got a fragrance. I got the Les Sables Rose and my essay was able to engrave it with my name. What I love about ordering from my client advisor in person is they are able to engrave it or at least at this boutique with my full name, not just three initials. But there it is, Cindy. So if you order online, they can only do three initials or three, you know, three characters, but in store they could do up to five, depending on the store. Not every store is willing to do it. They can, but a lot of them don't, maybe don't want to. <laughs> so yeah, they did five characters. So it says Cindy. So it's gonna line up with all my other LV fragrances. Now the final brand is Chanel. And you have already seen these guys. I show how to convert it to a crossbody bag. So Nordstrom was doing like a hundred dollar gift card promo and Neiman Marcus was able to match that price. Just knocking off that hundred dollars just straight up. So I got the skincare set. So this is the Sublimage Ultimate Indulgence. And you can see that it's a little bigger, well actually kind of much bigger than the, the regular size. I think it's a full size of the Sublimage eye cream, then a kind of a deluxe travel of the La Creme Texture Supreme Sublimage. I have tried the Sublimage line. I don't want to allow myself to fall in love with it because it's very expensive, but I don't mind trying the samples. It's less than what you would pay if you were to buy this, you know, full price. Now I have Sublimage uh, skincare, so I feel so fancy. I think as of right now, this is the only holiday set that's still available online. All the other holiday sets, those are all sold out, but I think this is still available. 370 or if they can price match or do another percentage off, 
it's still a better price than a real Chanel leather bag, <laughs> if that's what you're interested in. I got these Chanel sneakers. I posted on Instagram a pair of Dior sneakers that I missed out on, and they're kind of like the sock sneakers, similar to Balenciaga. And I was so bummed, and someone messaged me and said, oh my gosh, they look like these Chanel sneakers. And I immediately texted my, um, <laughs> my essay, and I said, do you have these? And she did. So yeah, these are so light and so comfortable. I don't own Chanel sneakers. I, 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 ne I never posted it, but I bought a pair of Chanel sneakers that were actually on sale last summer. And when they arrived, they were obviously the display sneakers because they were white around here, but the right one that was on display was yellow and it was like curled over and it just was so gross. So I returned it. So I like these. These are almost kind of see-through. Like if you have white socks, you can see it underneath, but these are so comfortable, so light. The bottom even has the CCs. I wore these already a couple times, but um, so yeah, Chanel sneaker is my first pair. I know I just bought two pairs of Valentino heels, but I find that I'm really not wearing heels a lot because I'm not going to the office anymore. I'm working from home primarily. So yeah, when I run out, I just have sneakers. So I love these. And then the final thing that I got for Christmas, and again, it's basically a combination birthday, Christmas, and also kind of in celebration of me reaching 50,000 subscribers, <laughs> I got a Chanel bag. And it was one that I wanted for a long time and I thought I just wouldn't be able to get it, but I was able to get the Chanel Sunset on the Sea bag in blue from last year's cruise collection. Do you guys like, oh, what, how amazing. I don't even, um, I don't have the best lighting right now, but I mean, what, it, how pretty, how pretty is this? <laughs> I love the chain, I love the ombre, I love the, the ombre on the flap, I love the ombre on the chain, I love the blue strap. I am Cassie Thorpe's twin because she also has this. I think she has this in the bigger size. I was looking for this, I was kind of looking at resellers because this was from last year's cruise collection. They basically pre-sell this the year prior, so really this was I started selling in 2018. Every SA, everyone I reached out to, they were like, oh, it's not available, it's sold out, that's from last year, we don't have that. So I just kind of accepted that, okay, well, if I really want this, this is truly what I want, you know, I will have to go to the resell, to the resell market and pay, you know, more than retail, which I hate doing. I, I don't think I've ever done that, but I was willing to do it because I love this style. I love blue. I love this. I just love it. Like, I love it. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, how cool. I posted on my Instagram, again, I kind of crowdsourced, and I asked if anybody has seen this, thinking that they would mention if they saw it at a, you know, from a reseller. But someone messaged me and said, oh, I have that. My SA was able to find it for me uh, recently, and maybe she could find one for you. And I said, oh my God, what's her name? <laughs> What's her cell phone number? She was located in one of the Vegas Chanel boutiques and she found it. It was showing that it was available like in the inventory and it was the last one. I would have preferred the bigger one, but I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'll take whatever you have. Like, I just didn't believe her that it was right. I just assumed it was a mistake and that it was just a different blue bag, but they had it I'm, they, and they wouldn't send me a picture of it. I guess they, by the time I did the charge send and everything, they had already packaged it but I have it now. That is my Chanel Sunset on the Sea bag in blue. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. I am so glad that I waited because I was thinking this wasn't available and I was like, well, I really wanted that, but maybe I'll get something else. I was looking at the Chanel 19 in black or um, and in denim, which I thought was pretty, but I knew that I really wanted this one. And so now I have it. My final bag purchase of 2020. So it has been a rough year, but I'm so glad that I was able to find this. <laughs> there are some things that I didn't show. I did pick up some fragrances, so I'll do a separate video on those. But this was everything I got for Christmas. This was my favorite of everything. 
it's kind of a weird year, you know? It's pretty low key in terms of like socializing. So let me know what you got. Let me know what was your favorite thing. Um, I hope you guys all had a very Merry Christmas and I hope you enjoyed my sharing what I got for Christmas with you and unboxing. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.